Hello, hello, welcome. Just Gem here, and today I'm going to be trying out the new Truth Tint and Bolt Balm by Made by Mitchell. So I ordered these on Friday night, and they came yesterday. And my plan was to film yesterday, but my eye decided that it wanted to swell up and look as if I'd gone ten rounds with Mike Tyson. Um, I'd hoped it would go down throughout the day to so still give me time to film, but I didn't. Um, so it's not exactly a first impressions video because I did end up having a bit of a play around just kind of kill time yesterday. Um, so I've already kind of prepped my skin, so I've like moisturised. Um, it's predominantly going to be a face of Made by Mitchell because I have quite a lot of stuff from Made by Mitchell so I thought it might, it might make a good video to um, use mostly those products. Um, or use mostly those products I should say. Um, but I am missing a few bits here and there so I, while I did get the Bolt Balm and the Truth Tint I didn't pick up the primer so I've already primed with um, a bit of Tatcha in the centre of my face because that's where I get a bit oily and then the Milk Hydro Drip, Hydro Grip uh, primer on the rest of my face um, so it's ready to go and before all of that I also put some sun cream on my face because SPF is important, obviously. Um, so this is what the Truth Tint box looks like and this is what the Bolt Balm box looks like. So I got the Truth Tint in TT16 which is like super tiny down at the bottom here and I got the Bolt Balm in BB 14. Um, spoiler alert, I think TT16 is a tiny bit dark and I was debating whether or not to um, get 15 instead or as well but I think that 16 would work really well in the summer when summer decides it wants to make an appearance and um, from doing a bit of an experiment yesterday I've decided that I can make um, 16 work and I'll kind of show you how I do that. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's put some skin tint on my face. So um, I keep calling it skin tint. Well, I mean, it is a skin tint, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it even shares it on the bottle. I don't know, can, you, can I show you what it says? Yeah, there you go. So I'm not, I'm not wrong. Um, so it's very liquidy. So give it a good shake when you first use it and when you first open it be careful because the air bubble from like first use especially after you've given it a good shake kind of makes it go and um, some of it kind of spills out. It's kind of happened a little bit but not as much as it did the very first time I used it. Um, I'm going to use, this is just like a random Smashbox blurring foundation brush that I'm going to use to apply it to my face. And if you see me looking over there a lot, that's because that's where my mirror is. Um, so, let's put that there. I'll just start on this side of my face first. I'm not going to take it right underneath my eye. See, that's weird. It almost, it doesn't look as dark today as it did yesterday. Uh, maybe I caught the sun. Um... But I think you can already see, like, you can see the glow. Like, yeah, I think you can see that too. It gives your skin, like, a really nice glow. Um, I would say if you're a full coverage type person, this probably isn't necessarily the foundation for you. Um, I can already see that this is something that I think I would use a lot um, in the summer months, um, when I kind of want to even out my skin a bit um, and I don't want anything too heavy on my face because it's really 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 lightweight um, so yeah maybe I'll just kind of do half my face to show the difference um, yeah it really bizarre it doesn't look anywhere near as dark on me as it did yesterday um, but yeah, just really, really light, and I think you can kind of see the 
the glow that it's given. I mean, I'd say I probably had a slight glow. I'm, I tend to lean oily in my T-zone, and I probably had a slight glow only because of like the sunscreen and the primer that I'd already put on my face. Um, but yeah, I really like that finish. It's kind of like, it's that typical your skin but better kind of feel. Um, so yeah, so I'll do the other side of my face now. And I think I did watch um, a TikTok that Mitchell said if you want to build it up um, and you want to make the coverage a bit fuller, you kind of apply a layer, let it set a little bit, apply another layer, um, let it set a little bit, it might have been a bit much. And what I've also done is, in preparation for my lips later, is I've got like a ridiculous amount of Carmex on my lips. You can probably see how glossy slash shiny they are. Um, so what I found when I tested the lip kit, which I will show you very shortly, is that it's not very forgiving if you've got dry lips. So I'm kind of prepping my lips by putting a lot of moisture in there now. So hopefully by the time I wipe off the excess, my lips will be fully ready. Um, and it will look much better when I apply the lip kit that I also picked up. So yeah, I think that looks alright. I don't know why I thought it was super dark. I'd actually say that TT16 is a good match. So moving on to the bolt balm so it comes in a container like this and you get uh, 0.315 ounces which is 0.9 grams um, and it's got a shelf month of 12 months um, and I should say where have I put the skin tint it's here um, so yeah just to go back this has also got a 12 month shelf life and you get 50 mils in that and it's 1.69 fluid ounces um, as I say I've got these on TikTok and they had like um, a bit of a deal on so I think this is normally £14 and the truth tint is normally 16 and it took off like 60p off each bit random but uh, I'll say wherever I can save money I'll take it even if it's 60p um, so what I found yesterday is um, this applies really, really well with your finger. So I'll start on this side. I'll start a bit lower because I don't want to deposit the product right underneath my eye. I'd rather carry it up. So um, I found yesterday when I tried this out that the warmth of your finger is you dab really helps with the application. It warms up the product and just helps to melt it into your skin. So like I am wondering, again, a bit like with the Truth Tint when I tried that, I was wondering if I should go a bit lighter in the Bolt Balm. Um, but I think if you just go in with a bit of a lighter setting powder, normally I use um, Laura Mercier, the deep version of that translucent setting powder. Is it translucent deep? Anyway, the Deep Laura Mercier setting powder, I tend to use that, um, but I think as long as I use, well I know that if I use a lighter powder, that this will work quite nicely. So I definitely could go lighter for under the eye, most definitely. Um, but that... This works quite nicely.
Don't you love the faces you pull sometimes when you're putting on makeup? Um, I think particularly the mascara face, I think that's always the, a, a very amusing one. Just patting, patting, patting. Getting as, as seamless a blend as I can. I'm going to put a blush on. Um, which blush am I going to go for? I think I'll go for a Shy Boy. So yeah, I'm going to go for this blush. Alright, let's start with that and uh, see how I get on. So I've got a slightly different camera setup than my first couple of videos. I've got a new tripod and I think this setup works much better because I feel like my camera was a little bit low and then I couldn't put my mirror in a place where I was looking at the camera but I could kind of also see what I was doing. Um, so yeah, this setup works really well. I'm still angled towards the camera but I've got a mirror here so I can see what I'm doing. See, so I normally do go quite ham. I'm wondering if I should, if I can, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a bit more. I'm going to go in with another layer of a shy boy. Yeah, I do normally go ham with the blush, I think. Is that enough? Yeah, I think so. I think I tend to go quite ham, just because I'm conscious I'm going to be setting this as well, so I want you to be able to still see that blush. Right, other side. So it's actually been a while since I've used a blush. So one of the reasons I've kind of started doing this channel is because I have an abundance of makeup, makeup, makeup. And um, while I, I, I mean, I do use it, but I think a lot of the times I use the same things over and over again. So I want to use my collection a bit more. Um, and I don't know, maybe encourage you to use your own collection a bit more as well. Um, and also, uh, it's kind of an excuse to buy new makeup products because if I want something and I feel like I can't justify it, I feel like it's for the channel, it's fine. Um, so... And it's quite therapeutic. Somewhat odd, um, talking when no one is responding, um, in not in real time anyway, I'm hoping that people will comment, but um, still getting used to that side of things. Okay, um, what am I doing next? Right, now I'm going into my curve case. So blend and snatch, let's put that kind of around the perimeters and see if I can give myself a bit of a bronze. Um, and I know from past experience, to be careful, because this is quite pigmented. That's the word I'm, I'm looking for. It almost evaded me there. Yeah, so I can, I can see that. I wonder if I've gone a bit, bit ham. I shall, I've got a clean brush here. I might just kind of, yeah, that's better. Yeah, I, put, I think I put a bit too much on after specifically saying to be careful. I ignored my own advice and whacked it all on there. 
I think I'll use a rituation just to add a bit of a contour. God, you've really got to be careful here because it's very easy to put too much on. So what I might do is go in with that cleanish brush and just, yeah, so that's kind of taken the edge off. Okay, I'll do the same on the other side. I've dug out my uh, feet on the ground palette. I nearly call it head in the clouds. This is not head in the clouds. This is feet on the ground. So this is the very earthy toned palette that Mitchell came out with like I mean pretty much from when the brand started um, I've had this for a good while um, so I'm gonna go in with um, I think I'm gonna go in with off-roading which is this brown here and just give my lid a wash and then I might see about deepening it a little bit with this brown which is called Board in the House. I've just got concealer down as a as a base. It's quite um a chocolatey sort of chocolatey brown there. I'm just gonna swipe it all over kind of Pat and blend, pat and blend. I wish I had more um, real estate on my lids. They're kind of slightly hooded. You can probably see if I do that, but um, I'm looking up slightly so you can't see as much. But yeah, they are slightly hooded. Um, and yeah, I just wish I had a bit more real estate to be able to kind of fit more colours. So this is bored in the house. Which I'm focusing on the outer corner. Okay, now that kind of works, just a bit of depth. I don't think I'll go overboard. Yeah, just in the corner. And then I probably will go back in with off-roading just to blend it a bit more but when I did my mini TikTok made by Mitchell Hall one of the other things that I ordered was a drip drip mystery kit generally I'm not a fan of mystery kits because um, while I like surprises I don't like makeup surprises but then I saw the drip drip mystery kit which contained three items and it was like well one of those is going to be a drip drip isn't it so i took a gamble and as well as a drip drip i got an eyeshadow brush in is that mc me 14 i can't make out what that letter is the other thing i got was a gel cream eyeshadow in the shade frostbite and that's what the color looks like inside. I don't think I'm going to use this today but I will do a swatch. So that's board in the house eyeshadow right next to frostbite. Last but not least um, is drip drip which now I, I don't know where I've put it, it's right in front of me. So right in front of me and then drip drip. So that's the kind of mystery box I like, when you have some idea of what you're going to get in, in it. So I was like, uh, and how much was it? £8 or like £7.68 or something really bizarre like that. And I was like, you know what? Even if the other two items I get are terrible, um, I don't mind getting this, getting Drip Drip and paying that much for it because I've seen Drip Drip and I thought it was cool and I wanted it. So, um, yeah, so I'm not going to use this as a blush. I'm going to use it on my eyes because I've seen people doing this and it looks 
very good. So after saying I'm not going to go OTT with my makeup, I'm about to put something really, really intensely sparky, sparky, sparkly on my lids. Um, but I think it's going to look good. I know it's going to look good. I did it yesterday. What am I talking about? Um, right, I want a smaller mirror that I can hold close to my face so I can get the placement right because that mirror is a tiny bit far. Aha. Uh -huh. Here's one I made earlier. What I might do is I might I'll just swatch it actually so you can see it. I'll add to the swatches on the hand. So that is drip drip. I mean I don't even know if this is going to do it any justice. But that's drip drip. And actually that that's quite a nice combo. Maybe I could do something like that on my eyes. sure how high to take it. Can you see that? I might zoom you in so you can really see this. Hang on, it's better isn't it? So I've flicked my lid up so I think that's where I'm going to take it up to. I wonder if I can tidy this up a little bit with a brush. So I'm literally just swiping a brush up, getting some product. I'm almost cut creasing it. How unbelievably intense does that look it's perhaps a tiny bit higher than I would take it but I think that works I'm definitely going to do this again but next time um, I know what I'm doing so rather than I mean I can definitely use the applicator like the doe foot to put it on my lids but I think um, the second I start to get a bit further out I definitely need to swipe some of the product off and use a, a brush and what I'm going to do now is just at the edges, kind of go over. Just kind of tap at the edges there. Just to kind of get a bit of a blend at the end, which is a Tricky. I probably took it too a little bit too far out. It's a learning curve. That's all right. That's not too bad. Okay. Let's do the same on the other side. But yeah, I think that that looks. I think that looks all right, and I think that looks even. A friend of mine picked me up a few made by Mitchell Bits, and one of them is an all smudge no budge eyeliner are you gonna focus are you gonna focus there we go all smudge no budge so what i'm going to attempt to do is add this blue liner uh in my eyeline and up top here let's let's see if I can do this and not butcher it. It's kind of got like a, a sticky texture, which is definitely helping me to drag it along. Now the other eye, <laughs> wish me luck. All right, so I've done my, um, waterline in off camera because I don't think anyone wants to see a close-up of me putting this in my eye it's yeah it's a bit creepy so I've done that it 
it's the shade Eclipse. Can we get it in there? Yeah. The shade Eclipse is what I'm currently running along my under eye. On that same brush I use Drip Drip with, I'm going to go into cl Clouded. Ooh. which is this shade right here. Let's try that in my inner corner. To brighten this up a bit, I'm gonna go in with a really, really old setting pair, setting pair, setting powder that I have, which is in the right state. This is the Bella Pierre banana setting powder and I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier powder puff. Dab in there, tap off, and then I'm going to just kind of rub the excess on my hand. dab under the eye. I've also got a big fluffy brush next to me so I'll probably use that to swipe away any excess. There. Any more on there? Just going back into onto my hand. wipe off any potential excess and then again I'm just kind of picking up what's on my hand still and I'm just using that to kind of go over the rest of my face okay nearly there last but not least I need to be quick because I've taken far too long doing all this um, and I need to get ready um, my lips. The lip kit I got was Mauve Mood. Can we see that? Can we see that? Yeah we can. Mauve Mood. And in it, it had a lip liner in Turnt, a blush in Making Mauves, and a beam lip gloss, lip gloss in On The Foe. So let's go in with Turnt. I'd probably go darker than this. Yeah, I would definitely go darker than this. Do I have a darker lip liner? This is Coco from NYX, which I think it will be better. And then we've got Making Moves. I quite like that. I don't know if I should indeed finish it off with Beam because that was quite... Now you could wear the Beam gloss on its own. So on the foe. Hmm, I don't know if I want to risk it. I'll put a little bit on. A little bit. I like that. I really do. I do like that. Right, I think I'm going to um, finish off my face and quickly get changed and then I'm going to come back and... Yeah. I'm back and I finished. Um, so what did I do? I went over my blush a little bit with a Pat McGrath blusher in, I wanna say it was Love Struck. Do I have it here? 
It was Love Struck. Yep, so I just went over my blush a little bit with Love Struck. I've put some Marc Jacobs mascara on and I used a Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. That's my phone. It's 10 to 5. I will try and do an update later on so you can see what my face looks like. Bye! I uh, just thought I would do a very quick check-in uh, because it's the end of my evening. So before I wash all of this off and go to bed. Uh, so it's 10 o'clock. I think I finished putting on my makeup about 4.30, I think it was. Um, so this is what I look like without any touch-ups. So I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see. Um, so I guess there's a bit, you can, yeah, I mean there's some shine here. But then, I don't know, would you just call that more of a healthy glow? Then... A shiny face um, looking in my mirror here see I think in my monitor it looks oily but looking at me in person it just looks like I've got a healthy glow more than anything um, so yeah I'm impressed actually um, possibly not as long as I would wear a foundation generally I'd probably wear it a bit longer than this uh, but just to give you a bit of an idea of how it looks about five hours later. Um, so that's not too bad at all. Like it hasn't broken down anywhere. Um, probably the glowiest slash oiliest in this kind of area here. Um, but yeah, so that's what it looks like. So as you can see my lighting is completely different because I film in natural lighting so I've got a light over here and then normally the sun comes from that direction. It's a very different lighting but just to give you an idea of how well it has held up since I put it on. Thanks for watching, I hope that you found the video useful. Um, if you had any questions about the Truth Tint or the Bolt Balm, um, hopefully I've helped. Um, and yeah, I've really enjoyed using these products. Um, I'm definitely glad I picked them up and I can see myself using them a lot in the future, especially over this coming summer. So thanks again for watching and hopefully see you in a video in the not too distant future. Bye.